So hi, I'm here with uh, actor Michael McKell, and uh, he's the star of the uh, film, a new film called A New Breed of Criminal. Tell us about the film, Michael. Um, well, it's a factual movie. It's based on a real family in Newcastle, and it's, a, it's a, almost like a rites of passage. You see how these kids have developed and how they go into uh, a lifestyle and, a, and, and crime through possibly their surroundings and, and how they develop and build an empire and they come up against my character, Vic. Who Are you the villain of the piece? I'm one of the villains. It's a, a new breed of criminal that come and grow up in the area and want to take over. And so that's when they come against an older force. Which were the, the Sayers? So is, They're is the it, Sayer family, yeah. So is it like a, a kind of biographical film about the Sayers? Yeah, it, it's, it depicts how they grew up and their life and uh, their, their path. And obviously, later, Stephen has had a complete turn and change and is now, you know... Um, a reformed character. A ref more than a reformed character. In fact, yeah. he was all at the screening in Soho recently, had a great evening. Um, but the film's doing very well. It's directed by... John Taylor, mm -hmm. uh, and who I've, I've worked with Richards before, and there, there, there are talks of already doing a sequel, so that's always good. Yeah, absolutely. So, was it uh, an interesting uh, experience working with sort of ex-crime people? Um, because of the nature of where I grew up, uh, I grew up in the East End of London, and went to a very big comprehensive over 2,000 kids mm -hmm. and so I grew up in street markets so I, I sort of understood sort of like the environment it's mm -hmm. like an environment I know because I became a musician very early doors mm -hmm. and I got a record deal at 19 so that got me out of my environment so I, I understand the characters I understand um, their backgrounds and and how things happen I also I understand how people can change as well and have you played other villainous roles in, in films? Uh, my first movie, in fact, was Essex Boys. Yes. Sean Bean, Charlie Creek, Miles. And... Tell us about that. What was that like as an experience? That was, um, again, because I was aware of the story. It was a factual story. Um, it was a, a fictional story written around a factual event. Mm -hmm. uh, Terry Windsor and Jeff Pope. Oh, yes, I've worked with Terry Windsor. Yeah. Um, and Jeff has, you know... Jeff's sort of almost a speciality is, is factual stuff, mm -hmm. even with ITV and other stuff that he's done in the past. So, again, I knew the environment. I knew the story. Yes. Um, I had recently moved to Essex, so I, I knew about the Bretterton shootings. Mm -hmm. To a certain extent, in this life you, of, of an actor, you get cast on that, what mm -hmm. that face says and yeah. does. And so it dictates mm -hmm. um, how you get cast. And... Um, on that first audition with, with Terry and Jeff, they sort of knew mm -hmm. that I knew. Yes. 26 times we walk up the stairs yeah. and I'm face to face with Brad Pitt like <laughs> here because we're staying out of shot because yes. stuff is still going on. Yeah. And there, about the fourth time, there was a moment where I thought, I'm going to just lick your face yeah, yeah. and see what happens. <laughs> just so that I can say. Yeah, but, yeah. It's the, a weird thing you could be sort of outside the, yourself. It's the, it, you're completely outside yourself. Yeah. And also, you know, I've grown up watching Brad Pitt from yeah, Thelma and Louis to, yeah. you know, you know so Fight a, Club. And, and, then you, and then you, and he's like a really cool guy. So why should people go out and watch uh, New Breed of Criminal? New Breed of Criminal is a very exciting director, Richard Don Taylor. And it's just a, a piece that's, it's true. Yeah. And it's true and it doesn't pull any punches. Fantastic. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you.